All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Potato Head Theater. Today's story is found in John chapter 13, verses 1 through 17. It all started in the upper room of a house in Jerusalem. Jesus had gathered all of the 12 disciples to this room in order to have a meal with them. Guys, I'm so glad you could join us for this meal. It's real special to me. This meal was part of the Feast of the Passover. It was called the Last Supper because it was the last time Jesus had a meal with his disciples. Oh, that's, that's why we called it the last one. I was wondering about that, but I guess I don't know that yet. Oh, continue on, sir. After the meal was over, the disciples and Jesus began to move away from the table and relax. Guys, that was such a great meal. Thanks for eating with me. Yeah, it was, it was really good. I, I did it. I ate so much. While the disciples talked, they noticed Jesus get up, take off his outer robe, and wrap himself in a towel after grabbing a bowl of water. The disciples weren't sure what Jesus was planning to do, but they were very curious. Uh, Jesus, uh, w w what you doing? Why'd you take your robe off? Yeah, wh what's going on? You will see. Suddenly, Jesus began to kneel down and wash the feet of the disciples. Now, there is something you need to understand. In Jesus' time, the act of washing someone's feet was usually left for a servant. Jesus, what are you doing? This is for the servants. I have to do this to show you what it means to serve. In that time, people wore sandals everywhere they went. They, there wasn't concrete paved roads to travel on. The roads were dusty and dirty. That meant everyone's feet became dusty and dirty. Often when people entered a house, a servant who worked for the owner of that house would wash your feet as you entered. That way, the dirt from everyone's feet would not dirty up the house. I'm sorry, sir. I could totally do this for you. I should have done this right when you first came in. Don't worry about it. When Jesus got to the disciple Peter, he said something. Peter said, Master, you will never wash my feet. He felt that Jesus shouldn't be doing something like that. After all, Jesus was a very important man. He was the son of God. Master, I, I, can't, I can't let you do this. This is, this is wrong. You're, you're the most important person in here. You, you can't wash our feet. Peter, I, I, I have to do this. Peter felt that he shouldn't be doing his servant's job, but Jesus insisted that he wash Peter's feet. So Peter let him. Master, I, I can't let you do this. Peter, I have to do this. If I don't, you won't be able to enter the kingdom of God. But master, this is, this is wrong. If, if my feet have to be clean, I want you to wash my whole body. Peter, only those who are completely dirty have to be washed. And even then, they don't have to have their feet washed. But you, you're clean. So all I have to do is wash your feet. Okay, do your thing. After he had finished washing the feet of every disciple, Jesus stood and taught something very important. Follow my example. Do for others as I have done for you. Whoever wants to be the greatest in my kingdom should take on the role of the servant. And if you really want to be a leader, you must learn to serve others and put them ahead of yourself. All right, guys, thank you for joining us on another episode of Potato Head Theater. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.